Hi, I'm student Dr. Jean Davis. And I'm student Dr. Jeremy. Jean and I would like to give you an introduction to the simulation and skills labs located on the third floor of LMU DECOM building. The simulations lab is where a group of four or five students will be able to participate in various medical encounters. These can range from emergency situations to simple clinical checkups. The skills lab is where we'll be taught different medical procedures and skills, such as suturing, IV catheter insertion, and lumbar puncture. First, let's take a look at the simulations lab. We are outside the simulations lab, currently in the waiting area. The waiting area is where you and your group will meet prior to the simulation briefing. While here, it is a good idea to take the opportunity to work with your group, decide roles, and go over the information that you have with each other. You'll have to report here for all simulations. Located in the back of the sim lab is the brief debrief room one. Here you and your group will be briefed for the upcoming scenario by one of the sim lab instructors. Brief debrief room two is located in the executive suites. This room number is 330 and is used for the same purposes. Debriefing sessions will also occur in these areas. You will always return to the area that you began in unless otherwise noted. After briefing, it is time to begin. Here you will enter the simulations lab hall to find three simulations room and an operating room. Depending on the scenario of the day, you will be instructed to enter one of them. Let's take a look at simulations room one, one of the three general care areas. This is sim room one. It is identical to the other general care rooms. On the wall, you'll note the blood pressure cuff, the power button for the power station, including the ophthalmoscope, otoscope, and specula. Also, there is a functioning suction canister and wall oxygen. In the middle of the room, we have the patient bed. It has foot pedals to both raise and lower the bed, head and feet separately, as well as a functioning headrest so that you can raise the head of the patient. Here in Sim Room 2, along with the other rooms, you might find one of our Sim Man 3G patient mannequins upon entering your simulation. Depending on the simulation scenario, the SimMan 3G will be your patient to take care of. The SimMan 3G has numerous abilities to stimulate a variety of medical ailments and problems. As you can see, the SimMan breathes and blinks, just like a real person. It also produces a heartbeat, lung sounds, and has the potential to, to simulate advanced conditions, from head trauma to even having a heart attack. Also located in the Sim Lab is a fully functioning operating room. The LMU Nurse CRNA program uses the room primarily, but other programs use this room in order to introduce certain skills, such as proper scrubbing and gowning procedures. Included in the room is a functioning anesthesia machine that can be used in conjunction with the SimMan patient mannequin. At the end of your simulation, time will be called and you will enter one of the brief debrief rooms to be debriefed. One of your team members will present a five minute case presentation and as a group you will discuss how the simulation went with one of the sim lab doctors. And with that, that concludes our tour of the LMU DCOM simulation lab. And now let's take a short trip over to the skills lab located in room 307. Welcome to the skills lab. As stated before, the skills lab is where you will come to learn different procedures and techniques that will benefit you when you go out to rotations. These skills and procedures are done during checkoff periods in which you will practice, learn, and finally perform the skill or procedure. Your faculty will provide you with further instruction and details about your simulations lab and skills checkoff. Be sure to read those instructions. If you'd like a tour of either location, please contact the simulation lab coordinator here at LMU DCOM. Thank you.